guys, Black Scout Survival. I'm here with my good friend Tracker Dan. He's a Navy SEAL. He also teaches survival and he also makes some very awesome blades, field use as well as combative stuff. And he wants to uh, show us some of those. So we've got, uh, of course, the Blood Shark and uh, a lot of different config configurations of that. Um, some uh, punch badgers. So it's, you know, amazing um, blade as far as penetration and, and slashing. Um, don't need a lot of training to make this thing work. You know, it's yeah. just straightforward. You're not going to hurt yourself with it. And the ring, yeah. not people not being able to disarm it as yeah. easy as a yep. standard blade. Yeah, and you, you can strike and, you know, like use a forward and reverse grip. Oh, yeah, and, exactly. Uh, and the sheath can be mounted in all kinds of different configurations, and so it's... Uh, got uh, some guadagnas with me for uh, um, people who follow uh, Ed uh, Caldron. He and I developed this blade together. That's very and, cool uh, blade. Yeah, it'll come with uh, different edge configurations, but it, it just fits in the hand any way you want to use it, you know, for grip. So you can sharpen both if you want to. Yep. Um, what, do, what do you call this wrap here that you do? This, this is pretty your, much your thing, right? Well, this this is a Japanese wrap. Uh, Joe Watson taught me how to do do it, and it's just a pax, epoxy uh, coated. Okay. Um, the uh, one I'm normally known for is uh, the uh, double ridge wrap, and okay. I stretch this stuff so tight, like I, you know, I got calluses and blisters all the time <laughs> from this. So uh, it's. Um, they both feel great in the hand, you know, and, and Ed actually on the uh, Guadagnas, he likes this double ridge wrap. Okay. And then this design here is uh, a hammer shark. So okay. it's it's a longer version of the blood shark, longer handle. And it, I don't normally like this kind of, you know, it's easier to be disarmed. Oh, yeah. But there are times when putting the thumb here helps you cut better. Oh, yeah. And any reverse grip stuff it really locks in good here because this is the weakest part of your grip oh definitely so yeah. anything that locks in good there really really helps out so talk about your sheaths a little bit because you do pretty unique design on those so operating on the teams you know i, I learned quickly that you know a sheath this wide um is not going to fit anywhere <laughs> you can't take it from operational gear to concealment that's right and using a blade in the dark to cut through stuff and do whatever you got to do and then get your gun back up you cannot turn on a light and look to see how you put your blade definitely, away definitely. so everything was i got my touch point here i hear that click i'm in and it's ambidextrous so it goes either way that's awesome and that's that's where the lows and b2 she system came from because it's awesome and being at the tracker school too it's um the Apaches had ways of carrying it in the front, over their shoulder. They could move it to wherever they needed, depending on the stocking that they were doing, like yeah, belly crawl definitely. or, you know. So I wanted a sheath system I could put on my boxers, my, you know, my pants. Gym clothes. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I don't have any deep sheaths with me, but I make one that's for surf shorts where okay, just cool. the top with the lanyard is poking out, and it's real easy to access. So. Awesome, awesome stuff. you have anything new in the works or...? You just uh, working on the the because I know you're like always back order, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm getting more honey badgers out. You know, the little karambit. Um, oh yeah. I've actually got some in here, but uh, um, and the tomahawks. Um, I am working on some new stuff. Just nothing to show off yet. I got so. you. Okay. Well, yeah. I appreciate your time, man. Uh, where can they check you out at? Uh, Trackerdan.com and on Instagram, Trackerdan. Make sure to go follow him. I'll put the links in the description box below. Check him out. Follow him on Instagram. Uh, makes great stuff. So, anyhow, thanks for watching.